Is this mic on? Yer, what's going on, everybody? It's Hot Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And today, I just wanted to talk about EA Sports UFC. And yes, that is actually the game's title. For what reason, I don't know. But um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts, a little bit of facts, and hopefully the biggest hype train that ever left the station. Oh, whatever. I just want to talk about UFC as a whole. Now, you guys already know that I was a big fan of UFC Undisputed 3. I was a fan of THQ. I felt as though that they made a great game, and I loved it. David the King Carter was doing his thing in the UFC, but now that EA Sports has taken the reins, I am left with a lot of doubt. Now, being a UFC fan, it's more than just graphics. It's all about the gameplay. So when EA Sports announces that they have a new engine called Ignite, you have to wonder, is this going to be a botched animation fest like Madden 13 was with their new engine? Or is this going to be legit? Is it going to be something that you want to spend your $60 plus on? You feel me? So when I see screenshots like this of guys running full speed at a guy and jumping off a gate, and kicking them in the face and putting their toenail juices all up in somebody's nostril. I'm hype about that. Now, the cinematics, of course, make it look so much better. But when you think gameplay-wise, is this dude really going to be jumping off the gate? Or is he going to be jumping in midair? Will he be flying? Will he be Superman glitching across the board? You don't know. You can't tell. So, all I can say is... Fact being that the people that made Fight Night will be making EA Sports UFC, I have a lot of where to think about. Because when I played Fight Night for the brief moment that I did, I liked the storylines, I liked a little bit of the graphics, the gameplay was okay, but it could have been a little bit more. Now we all know that Xbox just revealed their new name, which is going to be Xbox One. We already talked about that last video. but. It seems to me that EA Sports UFC will be moving on to the next gen as well as most of the other titles from EA Sports. I think they got a little deal going on. Microsoft and EA, yeah, they getting money. But um, my main thing is when it comes to UFC, I'm going to grab it. Of course, it's, it's no doubt about it. I'm going to grab it the first day it comes out. I'm going to make a creative fighter the first day it comes out. And I just, I have to see where I stand with the game. You know, I'm going to give my review. But as far as these screenshots go, the only thing that is wrong with these screenshots is in the previous thumbnail when the guy was running over to him and he jumped off the cage, the defender had his hands up. But as he went into the kicking animation, the defender lowered his arm. So will the defender automatically lower their arms when you attempt that move or will they try to block? Because that right there, if you see somebody jumping off a god darn cage, what you going to do? You going to duck? You going to sway? You going to run away? You ain't just going to sit there, there, sit there and take that and get your face kicked off. So my main thing is, so far in these screenshots, I'm loving the graphics. I like the way you can see people's veins in their calves. You can see muscle definition. You can see sweat. And the gloss off of, well, no homo, but the gloss all around looks amazing the way i see this is gonna look more realistic and i just want to see what the xbox one has to bring to the table because a lot of people are saying that ps4 gonna be the ish xbox one gonna be the ish all i can say is whoever makes the better game for the better council you best believe ikc gonna be on it so with that being said i'm about to sign up out of here i just want you guys to look at the rest of these screenshots before we go and like I said, if you're a fan of UFC, you're definitely going to want to get this game because there may not be another game like it this year. You feel me? Since EA done took over the license. I don't, well, actually, I don't know if they have the license, but since they're making the game and they got, you know, Dana White in the building. So you already know, ain't nobody else trying to make no MMA games. But <laughs> this is IKC signing out. And I wish, what, I'm going to jump off a cage and kick you in your face. <laughs> Peace, y'all.